Using machine learning to predict bacterial growth according to the media components. Bacterial growth is one of the foundational phenomena in microbiology. Although determined by a multitude of chemicals and biomolecules and their interactions, the contribution of single components of the feeding medium to the overall growth dynamics is not clear. Bacterial growth can be predicted through a combination of high-throughput experimental techniques and data science. Machine learning allows us to model the growth in a chemical landscape where millions of biochemical reactions can occur simultaneously within a single cell. Dr. Bei Wenying and her colleagues at the University of Tsukuba, Japan, employed a machine learning approach to predict if and how media components contribute to bacterial growth. In 2019, she investigated how the growth dynamics of asexual populations could be explained by the chemical components of the medium, combining for the first time a high-throughput growth assay with machine learning algorithms. Among the 13 chemical components under investigation, it was the nitrogen source that presented the highest priority in deciding the growth rate of the bacterial strain tested. This led Dr. Ying to conclude that the ammonium ion affected growth rate most significantly. Four chemical components, magnesium, sulfate, chloride ions, and glucose, also appeared in the decision tree. Their combinations decide whether the growth is fast or slow. For instance, when both ammonium and magnesium ions were out of their optimal ranges, a reduced amount of glucose could rescue the growth. Also, an excess amount of ammonium or the depletion of magnesium would cause zero growth. She predicted that three chemical components, ammonium, magnesium, and glucose, are common decision makers for both the growth rate and the saturated density. The predicted optimal concentrations for either fast growth or high density were identical in glucose, but they were different for ammonium and magnesium. Dr. Ying believes that these novel findings could not be achieved when applying routine microbiological experiments or mathematical modeling. To verify the different mechanisms observed for the first time by the machine learning approach, an experimental examination of ammonium and glucose were performed. The higher-than-usual ammonium concentration resulted in an increased growth rate and a lower saturated density, which is the cell density at which further cell growth ceases. Changes in the glucose concentration led to change in growth rate and saturated density in the same direction. This was the first reported attempt to introduce machine learning into the growth analysis of bacterial cultures, representing the successful application of decision tree learning to evaluate the contributions of chemical components to bacterial growth. This video is a summary of the paper, Predicting the Decision-Making Chemicals Used for Bacterial Growth, published in Nature Scientific Reports.